There's nothing worse than a man pulling away. For a moment, for a day, for weeks, it doesn't matter how long, it's always painful. Because we're talking about a man that you've invested your energy, time and emotions into. So why do men pull away? And how can we deal with it in the best way possible? How can we deal with it in a way that's feminine and high value? Let us find out right now. Hey guys, it's Renee here, the founder of TheFeminineWoman.com, where we teach you how to show up as a high value, high status woman who easily inspires a deep sense of emotional commitment from men. Now, before I begin, I just wanted to let you know that the full piece of content for this topic is in the blog post. That's right, there's a lot more to it than just this video. So, if you want to get the full piece of content and all the insights, please click on the link below in the description. All the details are in my blog post. That being said, let us talk about why men pull away from you and from the relationship and how you can deal with it as a high value feminine woman. Every day, my team and I get questions about this topic of men pulling away because the reality is that men will withdraw and pull away from you and from the relationship. It's bound to happen. Pulling away is a part of their masculine instinct. To prevent them from doing so, to prevent them from pulling away, is like telling the sun not to rise or telling a flower not to blossom. You see, the truth is, most men can only take being connected deeply to you for a certain amount of time before they need to remove themselves to find their equilibrium again. They need to re-engage with their identity in their mission, their goals, and their masculine passions. Even when a man is very much in love, he will get to a stage where he needs to do this. I mean, sure, a man in love can usually spend more time with you before he needs to pull away, but each man is unique and each moment is also unique. However, having a man pull away doesn't mean that your man isn't in love with you. Sometimes the more in love he is, the more he realizes that he needs to feel like he is enough through his goals and missions and passions. So it's important for us women to realize the truth, which is your man will pull away at some point. Of course, this does not mean that your relationship is doomed. Quite the contrary, when he pulls away or withdraws from the relationship, that is the exact time that you get your make or break moment to show and prove your value as a woman in the relationship. Because you know what? No man wants to give up his freedom and masculine missions in fear that he has a woman who will restrict him and pull him back. I only say this because most of us, myself included, have a tendency to respond with fear and neediness when a man pulls away. And look, there are good survival and protective reasons for us doing this and there's really nothing wrong with becoming needy and fearful when he pulls away. You just need to be aware that it can strip value from the relationship bank. Every time you respond in fear or from fear, there's a chance that you're stripping value from your man and from the relationship. This is not something for you to fear. This is just something for you to understand and even appreciate. Of course, I understand that none of this will change the truth of how you feel when he pulls away though. When he withdraws, it hurts. It's real pain. Wouldn't you agree? I mean, you may not say it, but it hurts. You may get angry, sad, you may feel unloved, and you no longer feel like the princess that he once treated you as. So do not make your feelings wrong. I'm not here to tell you that your feelings are wrong. Absolutely not. Because the truth is, if we women have become attached or connected to a man, or if a man has any value to us at all, then we naturally become irrationally afraid that his withdrawal could mean, and the key word is could, could mean, one, that he might sleep with other women and all his resources will go to the other woman. 
which is not always true. It is usually much less true than we women tend to think it is. Two, that he may never come back. And to the woman's primitive brain, this could mean that she might not survive. And hey, let's be honest here. Sometimes going through the pain of a man pulling away really can feel like we might die. That's how intense our feelings can become. So even though in this day and age, we don't need a man, our feelings can become that intense. And because they're that intense, we tend to try to resist the pain and perhaps get angry at him, or even we proceed to beg him to stay. In other words, we act out of those primitive fears. And the third thing, number three, we think that a man pulling away could mean that she has just realized that she had been used. Perhaps it was only a casual sex situation or that he got what he wanted and now she will never see the man again. These are all legitimate fears that we have. So what can we as women do about this? And how can we show up as a feminine yet high value woman in those moments where we are fearful and our primitive brain or primitive fears have taken over? Well, before I address that, I want you to consider this first. Think about when you're in a relationship and you feel kind of suffocated. That's the stress levels going up from too much closeness. This too much closeness happens much sooner for men than for women when in the context of emotional bonding. And I am talking about emotional bonding here. So keep that in mind. This does not mean that women don't also feel suffocated at times because of course we do. But what happens is as men get closer to you, things are going well, the oxytocin levels go up and they start bonding to you and you to them. Then men will tend to want to pull away in order to rebuild their testosterone levels through their masculine missions. And even if it isn't conscious, this is how it works because it is through a man's masculine missions that he is able to provide and bring resources to the table. That's how he gets to feel like a man. So him pulling away could have real positive intent. I want you to really understand this. But for us women, it's harder to relate to that because our default is to stay in relationship mode. We truly feel at home in relationship and connecting. So instead we get kind of confused and we may ask questions from our own feminine brain like, why are you pulling away? Why didn't you call? Do you not love me anymore? What's going on? The real problem here is that men and women are hardwired completely differently. Sure, we're all human. There are aspects that make us all human. But of course, there are also elements that make us completely different. Like the fact that most of us women see the world through our own feminine filters. And it's not so easy to understand a man's masculine behavior through our own filters. Because what is intuitive to us in a relationship is not what is intuitive to a man. What is intuitive to a man can be completely foreign to us as women. And so a man withdrawing can cause us great uncertainty and sometimes a lot of suffering. However, a man withdrawing or pulling away from the relationship doesn't have to cause you that suffering. Your suffering really comes from the meaning that you give it when a man withdraws. The meaning that we give an event or an action changes everything. And a bad meaning comes from a lack of understanding of men. And you know what? We as women can give it a different meaning, which would lead us to having a totally different experience. Of course, I know that's much easier said than done. But by having a greater understanding of men and their masculine world, then we become able to create better meaning and have the ability to show up with more confidence and more intrinsic value. And also remember this, remember that the reason why you were probably attracted to that man in the first place was his masculine energy, his masculine presence and direction. So what does your man really want from you when he pulls away? Well, above all else, he wants to feel like he has a high value woman, a high value woman that's there waiting when he comes back. You know what? Unfortunately, a lot of people frown upon the idea of waiting when he comes back these days. 
It's as if this kind of loyalty is mistakenly seen as a sign of weakness. Well, let me tell you, loyalty to a good man is not weakness, no, how much, no matter how much pain you may be in. So, the key is to keep your high value in spite of the confusion or the fear that you're feeling. How do you do that? Well, you show that you are still loyal to him when you feel fearful. You show that you can stick around with an open heart and be open instead of closed off emotionally. Unfortunately, most women kind of do the opposite. They don't show that they will be there emotionally for a man. But I do want you to know that staying high value does not mean that you have to act perfect or act happy. That's not what this is about. It simply means not disconnecting deliberately, cutting him out emotionally, or pulling yourself away from the relationship. You know that game of, you don't contact me so I don't contact you? Staying high value also means to not shut off to your own deep desire for connection. A lot of women push this desire way down and it causes them to shut off and close off. And this type of closure in a woman scares a man deep down inside. So how do you show him that you are still loyal and high value? Well, you must get yourself into an emotionally resourceful place before you do anything at all. So to get to an emotionally resourceful place, the first thing to do is to breathe and keep breathing and go to a safe place and let your feelings be felt. And when you are sure that you feel more empty of your hurricane of feelings, then follow these guidelines. The first thing is to leave him alone. You're allowed to be sad and you can miss him, but don't act out of fear. Stay open and understand that whatever he is doing, there is a reason for it. Even if you don't understand it right now, just like there is a reason for everything that you do. Now, before you do this, I want you to remember that the point is not to just leave him and that's it, to close off. That's not what I'm suggesting at all. The point is to give him his freedom while still loving him and not shutting down or closing off to him. And this is not to say that you are not allowed to have feelings. You are. Just be ready to own your feelings, even if it means that you cry when you see him. If he's not comfortable with your feelings, that is when you need to be the most comfortable with your own feelings. Tell him it is okay that you just feel a little sad and that kind of thing happens from time to time and that he has done nothing wrong and that all will be okay. And I also need to tell you that you are allowed to hate him. You are allowed to have authentic anger. You are allowed to miss him, love him, hate yourself, hate all of this, want to give up when he pulls away. None of that is wrong. All of that is okay to feel. It is okay to experience all of that. The only key is don't blame him or intentionally want to make him feel bad about himself because by doing that, you pull him back and you pull him down. You just have to actually allow yourself to feel everything, even anger, and not resist feeling it by criticizing him, cutting him off, giving him the silent treatment, or being passive aggressive. You know that kind of aggressiveness where you're angry but you're not comfortable feeling your anger? It's you resisting that and resisting him being a man that will cause more damage than anything else. Because it's when you resist yourself and you don't allow yourself to feel that all connection and hope is lost. When he does come back to the relationship, try to receive him openly. Does that mean to act happy? Nope. It means to breathe and try to not be in fear and stay connected to him even if he isn't doing what you want him to do. It means opening your heart and opening your mind and forming a connection in the moment with him. Now, doing this wouldn't make you a woman who is being used by her man, unless he truly is a bad man. All this means is that you care about him enough to give him freedom and at the same time, not withdraw your love. If something is truly wrong and he's just not the right man for you, you are much more likely to find that out when you are open to connecting with him than when you are cutting him off and acting like you don't need him or punishing him. A good way of successfully completing this step is simply to remind yourself to breathe and to breathe through your fears. 
And if all of this stresses you out beyond your ability to cope, then ask yourself, do I really want to be in a relationship with another woman? Or do I want to be in a relationship with a man? The more that you act from your fear, fear of his need for freedom, the more I want you to remember that this is your chance to bring you and your man closer, to cultivate more emotional attraction, and to deepen the connection and the commitment. You see, the truth is that if you show up as a high value woman and you're happy giving a man his gift of freedom, then he's going to truly come back to the relationship stronger with more to offer you. Does that make sense? All right, if you want a deeper understanding, perhaps a step-by-step -step guide on how you can show up as a high value woman when your man pulls away, then I have the perfect thing for you. I've put together the perfect resource for you to be able to show up as a high value feminine woman whenever your man pulls away and withdraws so that you can feel more confident. The details of these resources are in the description below. Again, this video was an abbreviated version of my blog post where the full content is. So if you've enjoyed this video, please do go ahead and read my blog post and that contains more details and insights that I didn't cover in this video. The link is below in the description as well. All right, that's all from me. Please do leave a comment below and share with us what you've learned and share with us your personal experiences. Sometimes we learn the most from each other's experiences and stories. So feel free to share your story too. And remember to never make your feelings wrong or push them down. Your feelings are incredibly powerful, as we all know, and they are indeed here to serve you. Sometimes fear and confusion is here to tell you to find better and deeper understanding so that you can feel assured and certain in knowing the truth. Okay, that's all from me. I'll talk to you very soon.